Hello, and welcome to this Analyst Corner presentation offered to you by One One Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research. The topic of discussion is blockchain for digital identity. Identity is an essential factor in our lives. We live in a society where everything we do revolves around identity. Our identities are slowly leaving the paper-based old system and moving towards digital identity. A digital identity is a type of identity format where an individual's identity is represented through digital means. The only making of digitized, however, wouldn't solve the many issues that come along with it. Let's see the issues of typical identity management systems. Bad password combination, that is using the same password for multiple applications. Failure due to manual provisioning and deprovisioning process. Provisioning is when a new employee joins a company and the IT department gives that employee access to the core servers, email accounts, file servers, and other internal networking systems. Deprovisioning is a determination of an employee. There needs to be a restriction of access. Both are manual processes with possible errors associated. Another issue is no regulations for access restriction. It's absolutely necessary for the digital identity management system to know who has access to what type of data or applications. Moreover, they also need to determine which devices the user is using to access these data. It's more severe when it comes to cloud services. Without proper regulations, many users can easily get access to information that they are not supposed to get. Low security for identities in devices and browsers. You can log into an app from the phone, tab, or PC. And most of the time, you can use a browser to do it. Therefore, you are setting up multiple risk points for your account. Applications not being up to date. When a user detects a bug and reports it, the developers roll out, roll out a security patch for it. However, in most cases, the developers don't update the application soon enough. Users also don't update the applications to the latest version as soon as it's available. Thus, hackers can get a chance to use the bugs or loopholes to get into the system and steal identity information. Multiple administrative models for multiple application creates inconsistency. An enterprise company can have multiple applications. If these all run on different administrative models, it becomes hard to keep track of all the users. Due to the lack of an identity management system, hackers can exploit the situation. Not utilizing security measures properly. There needs to be an instant alert system. Lack of device management when an identity in bring your own device. Many enterprises let their employees bring their own device into the workplace and use it. The enterprise has firewalls or other security services in every device they provide the employees. But when it comes to personal devices, it doesn't have the proper security measures. Another issue relates to same repetitive know your customer or registration process. When we open a bank account, we have to register. We do the same for insurances, travel, taking a loan, all are separate systems. These repetitions open up multiple access points to our information. Identity risk from online platforms. Many of us tend to share personal information online on various platforms, such as when we shop online or register for a service. Do we know what is the level of security protection on these platforms? Another issue, weak authentication protocols. The authentication process is the major concern for digital identity management systems. Only centralized servers give out identities. These identities are basically country specific and these centralized servers have total control of whom they are issuing the identity to and many citizens are left without identity. More than 1.1 billion people in the world are estimated not to have an identification attribute. Companies can easily mishandle personal information. The Facebook app, This Is Your Digital Life, for example, 
surveyed multiple people saying it was purely academic. More than 300,000 users downloaded the app and used it. What they didn't know is that the app would also collect information from other people in their contact list. Even though the app cited this in the terms of services, still, who really bothers to read them? Persistent identity hack or theft is another of the issues. So with a blockchain-based decentralized identity, there will be no centralized institute issuing or have, having claim over any kind of identity. Your identity would be solely yours to claim. Blockchain can be therefore a suitable solution for decentralized identity. First of all, by creating digital identities or DIDs, blockchain addresses are extremely unique and can be used for making digital identities. Moreover, these are all cryptographically secured and the owner generates them directly. A registry for all digital identities can store all the information of the identities into the immutable ledger storage. Blockchain can offer also credential notarization. It would act as a timestamp and offer an electronic seal. For example, a university would provide the hash for a diploma on the platform after the student graduates. It will help the student to know when the diploma was issued along with proof of, of the certificate. Thus, the graduate can use the certificate for a job or other purposes, showing that this is the certificate that had the hash function from the university. Consent and access rights. You can use the digital identity blockchain platform to control who can access your credentials. Using smart contract features then, use your identity as a proof to trigger a smart contract, for instance, insurance or payments. Then, what is the conclusion? There is a new way to maintain digital identities. The world is growing through a massive digital transformation and the physical and digital worlds are merging into one single reality. Security and privacy through decentralized digital identity. An identity management system needs to have the speed to ensure every user gets their query solved in time. It also needs to have a higher security level. A decentralized digital identity corresponds to these requirements. It not only offers full control of your individual identity rights, but it also makes it manage, managing it easier. This concludes the Analyst Corner presentation offered to you by One on Blockchains. I am Enrico Camerinelli, VP of Research.